and he looked at her and he said, Mommy, I'm lonely. And when my wife told me that, I could not process that then or now because Justin went to school with 2,000 kids. There were 2,000 kids walking around that building and another 150 adults. So all I'm thinking in my mind is how can anybody be lonely in a building where there's over 2,000 people walking around? How do we let that happen? And the reason for that is that Justin has autism. And he's awesome. He's awesome. He's an awesome kid with autism. He's kind, he's caring, he's compassionate, he's funny but he doesn't understand how to interact in social situations. Like he can't look somebody in the eye. He doesn't know how to sit down at a table with a group of people and have a conversation. Justin ate alone for seven years, middle school and high school. For all the times, for the thousands of times that Justin has been rejected by other kids, he never, ever, ever, ever stops trying. Three people who did more for me than they probably did for Justin. Mrs. F, his third grade teacher. She was awesome. The first day we met her, a week before school opened, she had 200 dittos for Justin. Puzzles, games, uh, uh, stories, all kinds of extra stuff for him to do. She used to call us minimum, minimum once a week. He was a special needs kid, I get it. We didn't ask her to, she just did it. We didn't ask her for the dittos, she just did it. Justin played rec league hockey when he was young. Mrs. F came to one period. We never asked her to, she just did it. And I know time is an issue for you. I validate that. But if you can do something for a child, maybe you can't go to their dance competition, but ask about it. Maybe you can't go to the game, the soccer game, the lacrosse game, the football game, ask them about, was there video from your dance competition? Could we watch that at lunchtime maybe? Watch their light, eyes light up. Elise Pelicano was the best counselor we could have asked for. She was Justin's middle school counselor, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. I would literally sit across the table from Elise Pelicano at CSE meetings because I wanted to see her face when she talked about Justin because she lit up when she talked about him. She talked about him like she was her son. I love her so much. Amazing woman. My go-to question for kids is, who's your go-to person? Who's the adult in school that you're connected to? Most of them would say, I don't have one. And I said, you gotta get one. You gotta get one. I know I'm safe to tell something to. I know that, because I'm leaving. I don't think that's the biggest reason the kids come up to me and tell me these things. It's because I'm vulnerable, because I show my vulnerability. You know, Neil Donald Walsh, one of my favorite authors, says stop looking at things with your mind and look with your heart, because your mind always wants to protect you, but your heart wants to connect you. So look on the inside. That can you see yourself as, can you see yourself in your students, even in a small way? Last January, I celebrated my ninth birthday without my mom. We had 49 together, and that was my ninth without her because she died December 10th, 2014. But I miss her terribly on my birthday. And the reason I miss her terribly on my birthday is because I was born on my mom's birthday. And we were tight. So I was sitting with her the night before she passed away. She'd point at me and she'd say, you selfish man, how dare you think your life is about you, David? Your life's not about you, your life's about Justin. Your life's about Sarah. Your life's about Mary, your wife. Your life's about your brothers and sisters. Your life's about your cousins and your friends and the people you're gonna go out and meet. Stop thinking your life is about you. Your life is about all the people around you that you can teach, touch, impact, and influence, but mostly it's about the people you love and all the people that love you. And some are sitting right next to you. I know this is hard to do, but when I'm talking to a kid, I'm looking, I'm thinking, if that's Justin, what would I say to them? If that's Sarah, what would I say to them? This is the action. This is the action for the year. Show up. Show up for your students. But even more importantly than that, please, I implore you to teach them to show up 
for each other. Just show up. <laughs>